Larry, on behalf of the media here this morning, I'd just like to thank you for, first of all, in endorsing. I think you were very happy to do that. Of course, no, no doubt about it. You know, um, I've always been uh, a supporter of our West Indies uh, women's cricket team and, and cricket in general, you know, whether it be the men or, or, the, or the women. And to have a, a, an event like this at home, you know, in St. Lucia, playing in this beautiful stadium, you know, I, I could not embrace the, the, the offer from WICB or, 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 or ICC. Being the ambassador for, for the Women's World Cup and helping, you know, promote the, 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 the women's game. And of course, there was a linkage to the fact that you all both won the World Cup and, and, and there was a closeness that came about then. Yes, of I remember back in 2016, you know, Stephanie Taylor, myself, and, and, and Mar Marisa Aguilera, who was the, the previous captain, you know, we were in constant dialogue, you know, about what we could do, how powerful our team can be once we, we play well. And uh, I remember doing a photo shoot uh, in, in Mumbai with uh, Stephanie Taylor before the semifinals, you know, and we both won that and we were in the finals. and. Um, Coming from uh, Calcutta, driving to, to Eden Gardens, you know, we all listening on the radio and uh, I think Haley Matthews uh, was batting and we got to the stadium uh, just uh, during the last over. And I've never seen guys run off the bus so quickly trying to get the, 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 the finishing, um, uh, uh, the finishing um, of the game. And I remember as soon as we stepped into the stadium, trying to run through security, I think it was Stephanie Taylor or Haley Matthews who hit the ball to mid-wicket. And we got the, the single and all of us ran to congratulate the, the, the women's team. And uh, yeah, it's memories that will, fuck, that's my last memory of, of, of international cricket. And I think the women can do that in this tournament again. What's your feeling now? You've been part of the roadshow. You've been helping to push tickets for uh, people to ensure that people have access to the game. What's your gut feeling about uh, the, the the attendance? What they look, the team here in St. Lucia have done a, an excellent job. You know, in making people aware of this event and uh, and the roadshow we had on 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 saturday uh, i think it went really well today the tick the, the the booths the ticket booths open and you know we St. Lucians tend to see we last minute you know but uh, i would encourage them to come out and support the, 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 the this event you know it starts on the 10th of, of november it's important that you know we come out and and we we full the seats here at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground because at the end of the day, this is the biggest event in, in women's sports happening in the Caribbean, in St. Lucia. So we come out there and, and we, we, we come and support all the, 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 the cricket teams, especially our defending champions, uh, West Indies. I think it would showcase our, our island um, and our people that we support, support women. And you talk about November the 10th, it just happens to be a Saturday, that is encouraging to feel that there could be a great cr crowd on that Saturday and on the weekend. Yes, I, I totally believe so. You, you think $10, $10 to come and watch um, uh, two international teams uh, compete, you know, fighting uh, for a, a, a to advance for a World Cup uh, semi-final spot or final spot. And then you get to see Sanchia perform, Patrice Roberts perform. You get to see other local artists, our own Denry segment uh, uh, group, come out and perform for ten EC dollars. I don't think uh, anybody would want to pass on that opportunity. And, I, and uh, you just have to, to find yourself at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground, there's no excuse. And the West Indies defending at home. Uh, there's pressure both ways. You will get support, but there's the responsibility of being able to hold on to the actual time. Look, the, the beauty about me talking about this tournament has been able to say, come and support the defending champions. I think, you know, last year, earlier this year, I was encouraging the St. Lucians to come and support the St. Lucian Stars. Who didn't win a game last year? But this time, I feel so proud just saying, come on, watch the defending champions. And, you know, with, with the uh, additional support that will be in the stands, I know it's going to be tough 
for Stephanie and, and, and her team, but, you know, the experience they've gained after winning the World Cup in 2016 and the way Haley, Haley Matthews and, 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 and the young players have, have stepped up and gained more experience, I think they're ready to really come out and, and, and defend this title. Let's look, Darren, at the total tournament. There are quality teams coming here. I mean, England will be bringing their supporters. That should enhance the atmosphere. Yes, and we all know the English team travel with the supporters. And, and that's why I'm challenging all our, our locals, uh, locals here to make sure that our West Indian support is not outnumbered by, by the overseas support. Because you know what, what importance that could play on the, 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 the Stephanie on her team when they know they, they have the home crowd um, advantage. But yeah, it's going to be a, a, a tough task, you know, with the likes of, of, of England and, 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 and New Zealand. And, and we just saw Bangladesh playing some good cricket as well. So it's anybody's, anybody's tournament. Cricket is, I always say, is played out there in the middle. And, um, but the way I've seen the, 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 the women's, the West Indies women team prepared, uh, I think they, they stand a good chance of, of, of winning this tournament. And the world will be watching in matches in Guyana, matches in St. Lucia, and then, of course, Antigua, the smallest country to hold a, a final. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a great time for the Caribbean. That's what I'll say. You know, uh, these events not only showcase the cricket, but it's an opportunity to market the, 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 the country. You know, and we all know St. Lucia uh, over the years has been about being simply beautiful. But after you, you, as a, after you, are, you, you portray so much beauty, it's time for you to, to inspire. And that's what this country is, is doing. It's inspiring people to come out to the shores. And I think with this event coming to, to, the, the, to, the, to St. Lucia, um, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to, to market um, our island and for our people to, to show the world that we support all sports. And especially when the biggest event happening on our shores, we're going to go out and support the, the, the ICC Women's Great World Cup. The West Indies start on Saturday, November the 10th. You, you, you like the, how the draws worked out? Yeah, to be honest, I would love all the games for West Indies right here in St. Lucia, but uh, we cannot be uh, too selfish over here. But um, yeah, I wish them all the best. I hope, um, you know, the, the, by the time they come here and the, the last game they play against England, it will just be to, to seal whether the, the, the top uh, of, of the tables and, and, and head on to, to Antigua with uh, good form, and, um, but I'm not worried, to be honest. I, I, I am fully confident that uh, they will make it through the knockout stages, and once you get to that, that, that stage, it's, uh, it's playing good cricket on that day to get you to the, to the finals. On behalf of the St. Lucia Press, the West Indies Board would like to thank you for contributing again towards uh, the 2010. My pleasure, yes.